Amr Abdel Basit Abdel Aziz Diab is an Egyptian singer, composer, and actor. He has established himself as an acclaimed recording artist and author in most Mediterranean countries. According to a research by Michael Frischkopf, he has created his style termed as Mediterranean music, a blend of Western and Egyptian rhythms. By 1992, he became the first Egyptian and Middle Eastern artist to start making high tech music videos. His 2014 album Shaft Al Ayam peaked at No. 1 on the Billboard World Albums charts, making him the first Egyptian and Middle Eastern performer to accomplish such a feat. Amr Diab with his seven World Music Awards Amr Diab was born on October 11, 1961 in Port Said to a middle-class Muslim family originally from the Egyptian countryside of Minya Elf, Sharkia Governorate, Egypt. Diab graduated with a bachelor's degree in Arabic music from the Cairo Academy of Arts in 1986. Diab has released his first album entitled Yatariq in 1983. Diab's second album, Gani Men Albak, which was the first of a series of records he released with Delta Sound, including Hala Hala, Kalsin, and Mole, with the title track becoming one of the top 10 songs in the world at the time. His later releases include Shawana, Mat Kafsh, Habibi, Ayamna, Ya Omrana, Waylamini, and Regine. In 1996, Diab released his first album with Alam El Fon entitled Nur El Ain, and he won the World Music Award for the first time which proved an international success and gained Diab recognition beyond the Arabic-speaking world. Diab recorded four more albums with Alam El Fon, including Amarine. Diab also collaborated with Khaled and with Angela Dimitrio. In the summer of 2004, Diab, having left Alam El Fon, released his first album with Rotana Records, Lilene Harry, which he followed up with the hugely successful Kamal Kalamak, and El Lilidi. Waya was released for sale on the internet on June 27, 2009, however, the album was leaked online and was downloaded illegally amid complaints of slow download speed on the official site. Diab's fans initiated a massive boycott of the sites with the illegal copies. On October 18, 2009, Amr Diab won four 2009 African Music Awards in the following categories, Best Artist, Best Album, Best Vocalist and Best Song for Waya, Amr Diab had been nominated by the Big Apple Music Awards. In February 2011, Amr Diab released his hit single Maser Alat, followed by the release of his album Banadik Tala in September, produced by Rotana. In 2012, Diab hosted the first Google Hangout in the Middle East during his performance in Dubai. In October 2014, Amr Diab released his album Shaft Al Ayam, which topped his last album El Layla and again became the best-selling album in Egypt on iTunes. In July 2015, Amr Diab released a music video for his song Gamala from his album Shaft El Ayam. In March 2016, he released Ala W Ala, his first album since he left Rotana Music. The album was produced by a record label known as Ney for Media. His new album Madi El Nas was released in July 2017 with Ney Records. In October 2018, he released a new album called Cole Hayati. In 2019, he released a mini-album, Anna Gare, and in February 2020 he released his 35th album, Sarin, which included 16 songs. Diab is known as the father of Mediterranean music. David Cooper and Kevin Daw refer to his music as the new breed of Mediterranean music. According to author Michael Frischkopf, Diab has produced a new concept of Mediterranean music, especially with his international hit, Norel Ain. Moreover, Diab is known as a composer, having composed more than 97 of his own songs. Diab is one of the first singers to popularize music videos in the whole MENA region and is the first Egyptian singer to appear in music videos. Diab's fame in the music industry has led him to experiment with other forms of media, such as film. Amr played himself in his first film, El Afarit, which was released in 1989. It also starred Medea Kamal. His second film Ice Cream and Gleam, in which Diab starred in 1992, was chosen as one of the best five Egyptian musical films by the UCLA School of Theatre, Film, and Television. The film was featured in the UCLA Film and Television Archive's new program Music on the Nile, 50 Years of Egyptian Musical Films at James Bridges Theatre at UCLA on 6, 8 and April 10, 1999. David Shute of the Los Angeles Weekly termed it observant in a big leap. His third movie was released in 1993, and was named Dikwi Lob. The film premiered in the Egyptian Film Festival in 1993. Amr played alongside international Egyptian movie star Omar Sharif and Yusra. Overall, Diab did not experience the same level of success in film that he had with his music career. 
Since 1993, Diab has focused on his singing career. Amr Diab's songs have been used in several films, including, during the 2011 uprising, some protesters criticized Diab for staying silent, and for fleeing Egypt for London. A few days after former President Hosni Mubarak stepped down, Amr Diab composed and sang a memorial song, Masar Alay, and released it in conjunction with a music video showing pictures of the martyrs who died in the uprising. He initiated a charity campaign Masri Bagad. His online radio station Diab FM often presents talks and discussions about what the Diab FM team can offer to the community as well as applying it practically by being present in different sites across Egypt with a new humanitarian project each week. Diab has an elder daughter from his first marriage to Egyptian actress Shireen Rada. In 1994, he was married to Saudi businesswoman Zaina Ashour. They have three children. In 2018, he went on to marry another Egyptian actress, Dina El Sherbani, after his relationship with Ashour ended. It is unknown whether they were separated or divorced. However, Diab and El Sherbani separated in late 2020. He has been awarded the World Music Award for Best Selling Middle Eastern Artist four times, 1996 for album Noor El Ain, 2001 for album Akhtar Wad, 2007 for album El Lilidi and 2013 for El Layla album. He has also won at the World Music Awards 2014. Amr Diab is the only Middle Eastern artist to have received seven World Music Awards. Five of his albums reached the top ten of Billboard's World Albums chart, with Shaft El Ayam reaching no. One in 2014, the first for an Arabic performer. Alongside that accomplishment, two of his albums both peaked at 29 and 14 respectively on Billboard's Heatseekers charts. On September 28, 2016, Diab announced that he achieved a Guinness World Records title for most world music awards for best-selling Middle Eastern artist. A program produced by Amr Afifi, consisting of 12 parts aired on Rotana Music, Rotana Cinema and Egyptian Channel 1 Station. The program detailed the biography of Diab and was scheduled to be launched simultaneously with the release of Amr Diab's new album, but the album's release was postponed to a later date. Thanks for watching.